So to explore again some of the unusual varieties of tulips that we can get, I'm going to do a really simple arrangement. To be honest with you, it's literally just placing tulips in a little jug. So it kind of shows you maybe some of the varieties that you wouldn't normally get. So this, this is the frilly tulip. This particular one is called um, Smirnoff. Just cutting the stems at an angle. Literally just popping them into the jug. Really simple but effective. And to be honest with you, tulips don't really need anything else. They uh, work really well on their own. Nice and squeaky there. There are so many varieties that you can get now. Um, apart from the standard tulips, you can get the frilly ones. They almost look like they've got little icicles dangling from the ends of their petals. So there's and um, frilly. There's also the parrot tulips, the double tulips, the French tulips, and also the dyed tulips. So don't be afraid to explore some of the slightly more unusual varieties to pop into a jug or any kind of vase that you have. Tulips don't necessarily need flower food. Um, if you don't use flower food, I would recommend that you actually change the water every day. Um, they don't need a massive amount of water. They're quite happy to drink in shallow water. Um, and they particularly like cold water as opposed to the tepid lukewarm water that we normally advise you to condition with. Tulips respond very well to really cold water. And there you have, I'll just turn it around so you get the better view of that side. You have your little jug of Smirnoff tulips. So as you can see, that's really simple. And sometimes, especially with tulips, less is more. They don't necessarily need other flowers to work with them to make them shine. So I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope it will give you um, a little bit of inspiration to perhaps go and explore some of the different varieties of tulips rather than the standard. So thank you for joining us today and keep watching for more of our inspirational videos.